Okay, so let's cover what is OCI and OCI Classic. Okay, so first of all, both are infrastructure as a service. Both provide you storage, both provide you compute, both provide you network. Okay, however, OCI is next generation infrastructure or Gen 2, which Oracle says. OCI, that stands for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, is next gen, whereas OCI Classic is the older version or, or, or generation 1 infrastructure, which Oracle calls you. So OCI was built based on a Zen hypervisor. Nimbula was a software which is built on top of a Zen based hypervisor. Now since then, a new hypervisor has come which is KVM based hypervisor. So OCI earlier used to be called as bare metal cloud service which is BMCS, bare metal cloud service in April, in, in, in not April, October 2017, open world Oracle rebranded or renamed bare metal cloud service to OCI which is Oracle cloud infrastructure which is KVM based hypervisor. Now, so OCI has introduced uh, Oracle cloud infrastructure which is a new next generation has introduced few new concepts like availability domain, compartment, virtual cloud network and so on. So which makes cloud really, really interesting from an Oracle's point of view. Now, the major difference is OCI currently is limited to selective region. What is the region? I, I think I'll leave it for some other time. Whereas OCI Classic is available on pretty much every uh, region, which the only thing is OCI is coming up in a remaining region as well. So it's not available. OCI is not available on all the regions. And but but both OCI, uh, sorry, uh, both databases and eBusiness Suite both are supported and certified and works on the OCI and OCI Classic. So I hope you understand just to do a quick recap on OCI and versus OCI Classic. OCI Classic is an old generation one Nimbula software as a, as a, as a virtualization software, Zen based hypervisor. OCI is KVM based next generation hypervisor. It's a bare metal. OCI also support battle bare metal. Now one question I get or one com common misconception is that OCI is all about bare metal. No, OCI also provide you a virtualization VM option as well. So you can have a OCI on a bare metal, which is a bare metal cloud service, or you can also have OCI on, uh, on, a, on a virtual box or a VM, but that VM is going to be on KVM based hypervisor rather than Zen based hypervisor. So this is what you see here, which is the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Generation 2 Cloud. So you, what you have is uh, on left hand side, so this is uh, a, a region. So there is a, in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, there is a concept called a region. And so what you see on outer line is a region. And within region, you have something called as availability domain. So what is represented is here is three availability domain. So region is basically a data center, so you can say um, for example, US has in North America, Ashburn is one data, uh, one region. In UK, uh, closer to London Heathrow, uh, that's where I live. So by the way, uh, I live very close to Oracle Data Center, very, very close. It's like uh, hardly 10 minutes drive from my place uh, in, in, UK, uh, in uh, closer to London Heathrow or uh, um, yeah. So that data center, so that's a, that's a region. Within region, you have three availability domain. And availability domain is nothing but fault tolerant data center. So it will provide high availability or fault resilience. resilience. So that's availability domain. Within availability domain, you can create something called as virtual cloud network or VCN. So what you see dotted line, uh, which is written here, virtual cloud network is VCN. Now within virtual cloud network, you can create something called as subnet. And what you see here, backend subnet, app subnet, and DMZ subnet. So this is pretty much same as what you do on premise you do everything same on the cloud as well. Now you can, so subnet is basically a, a dividing or you have uh, security around network around, on that. So that's about, uh, and then there's a DRG and, and uh, there's a internet gateway, uh, all those concepts in, in OCI. Then end users, they will connect, if there's an end user, they will connect from uh, the internet gateway or we call it internet gateway. You can also connect it to a, another data center or another uh, network on the cloud. So you might have for high availability, you might say, oh, I have one cloud in London, which is my primary cloud. And I have another cloud, which is my DR cloud in, in another, um, uh, maybe in Europe or maybe France or maybe in US. And then 
what you have and, and this is the terminology which i picked up today or in last two three days because i'm undergoing a training uh, there was a wonderful training i'll, I'll talk, talk about a, a little bit later so i'm going to share a little bit more about there's something called as peering connection so you have one cloud network talking to another cloud network and then right hand side or left hand side you have customer data center which is connecting there are two ways to connect or there are three, in fact three ways to connect uh, one is through ssh tunneling which is not covered because it's quite common uh, but when you connect data center to, do, to the cloud, you have VPN or fast connect. And this is all about, in a nutshell, about OCI, uh, which is a high level.